Hello everyone, nice to see you again. I am RK. In this video, let's see how to search for a file and folder with their name using locate and find command. Here, locate and find both commands are used to search for a file or folder, but they have some difference. Let's see how to use them. First, let's start with locate. If you don't have locate installed in your machine, you can use apt install to install locate in your system. Here I already installed locate in my system, so I don't need to install it again. Let's clear our screen. In my current directory, I have created a file named abcd.txt. By using locate, we can search for a file with the name locate abcd.txt. Here it search that the file with the name is in my home directory. And I can also use asterisk to search for file with the same extension or prefix like locate asterisk.txt. Here it displays only one value, but there are also lots of files like that with the name of extension txt, but I doesn't get the output here because the locate is run with a database. The database has the details of all the files and folders in our system. The database updates itself for every 24 hours. If we need to update it manually at now, we can use that. Before that, I'm going to create a file touch a.txt. Now I'm again search for the file with an extension of txt. It displays some extra things, but I doesn't get the file a.txt. Now I'm going to update the database sudo update db let's search for the file again here i got a.txt in my home directory and we can also limit our output by using n flag here we got almost eight files i can minimize that like n3 here it only displays the top three, the others are not displayed. And instead of displaying the files like this, if we need to only display the number of files, we can use C command like locate C. Here it displays there are eight files with an extension of txt. Linux is case sensitive, so it displays only the exact text that we are giving. So there is a flag that ignores the case sensitive to locate files locate i here it displays the same output because that's all the files in the system with that extension of txt let's create a new file a b c d dot txt let's update our database let's search for a file again here it only displays the txt with the lowercase. I need the uppercase also. So I am adding an flag i. Here I got the output abcd.txt with uppercase. And there is an another problem with locate is if a file is deleted or removed after the database is updated, it still displays the file is like in the system. If I remove the file, abcd.txt with uppercase if i search for a file with the extension of txt with ignoring case sensitive it still displays that the file abcd.txt with uppercase is there but i removed that let's search that here you can see i only have abcd.txt with lowercase and a.txt in my home directory, but it still displays the file is there. For that, here we have a flag E to only display the files that are in your system. Locate iPhone E. Here it doesn't displays a.txt with uppercase. And here we get each location of files in our new line. If we need to get everything in a same line, we can use iPhone 0 
it displays all the files in the same line by using s flag we can find the location of database currently the database has 30,513 directories and 385,513 files and you can use the d flag to insert your new database and that's it for locate let's see how to use find let's see what are the files in our home directory i have abcd.txt and a.txt let's create the new file abcd.txt with uppercases like that we need the command find and we need to say where we need to search for the file here i am entering the dot because i am telling search in my current directory or you can use any locations like slash user or slash where and the name flag tell the name of the file here i need to search abcd.txt if i search for a.txt it only displays a.txt in both the folders but it doesn't displays this file because it has b c d in between them by using asterisk we can also get that abcd.txt as output we need to enter it in quotes yes we got that a.txt abcd.txt and a.txt in subfolders and i can search for files with prefix pass in root directory here it displays all the files which has the prefix as pass other than that we got lots of permission denied files because the user doesn't have the permission to read or go through the files or the directories if i don't need to display those permission denied errors i can use to greater than dev slash null it only displays the values or the file paths it doesn't displays the permission denied errors like ignoring case sensitive in locate we can also ignore that case sensitive in find by using i name instead of name we need to use i name here you can see we get abcd.txt upper cases but in our previous search we won't get that result and sometimes the name that we are searching is maybe a file or a directory we can specify if we are searching for a file or a directory in password i need to search for a file here it displays only the files with name pass if i need to search for a directory i can use d these are the directories with name pass we can also display this in a long format by ls flag it displays the owner of the file and their permission modified it and we can also search for files using permission using perm flag like now i am changing the permission of the files here the permissions are changed let's search for a file asterisk.txt with permission 0777 sorry i doesn't change the location here yes i got the file a.txt and i can search for files with their owner's name first i need to change the owner of the files in my current directory let's display here rk is the owner for three files let's change that to root here abcd.txt to root the owner is root let's search for the file with owner of root user root here we got abcd.txt because root is the owner 
and archives the owner for other files. Unlike that, you can also search by using group, modify time and size of the file. Let's search for any file with size of minimum 100 megabytes and maximum of 500 megabytes. Let's remove the permission denied errors. Here these are the files that are between the size of 100 megabytes to 500 megabytes. Let's list that. Here you can see this file is almost 130 megabytes and this is 120, 100 and 230. So that's it guys. If you have any doubts, ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear it. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.